My name is Kurt Christiansen. I'm a design master at the LEGO Group. The model I'm going to show you today is the Land Rover Defender D90 from LEGO Icons. The model has both steering and suspension. The bonnet and the doors can be opened. You can both do a clean version and an adventure version. You can switch the engines. There's a functional winch and you also have a functional jack and toolbox. The model is a representation of the Defender line running all the way from 1983 and until now, trying to capture the whole essence of 75 years of classic Land Rover design. All the well-known features, the silhouette, is what we have tried to represent. It's really exciting to see that the LEGO design team have chosen the Defender as their next model. Hi, my name is Matt Bailey. I'm the Head of Business Development here at Land Rover Classic. Land Rover was first introduced to the world in 1948 when the world first saw the Series 1, uh, which has carried through until the car that we now know as the Defender. The cars back in the day were used mainly for productivity, efficiency, but very rapidly it soon evolved into an adventure-related tool. Uh, and an expedition tool to enable people to go off anywhere around the world. I actually used a lot of time on looking how the real model are constructed under the whole chassis, how that works, the whole suspension and linkage for that, and also getting the steering to attach to that suspension part. The most iconic part of the Land Rover is, of course, the front. Well, I've used a lot of time to get the corners right and also where the lights are attached just to get sort of the right expression of the face of the vehicle. So when you look at the front end of the Defender, it's truly iconic. Uh, again, that's carried all the way through from 1948. It's very, very visual, very, very striking, but also very functional. It just helps you to get over very difficult obstacles by having the wheels so far forward to get over these big rocks and, and off-road terrain that you encounter. Hi, I'm Joel, and I'm a design master for the LEGO Group. For this set, we've developed a new element, which is a new wheel arch. In LEGO, we have a lot of wheel arches, but they're pretty round, and this Land Rover vehicle has a different type of wheel arch. So we worked really closely with Land Rover to really get the angles and curves on this element so it would fit the LEGO system and also would look awesome on the model. And we're really excited to see how our fans are going to use this new wheel arch in their builds. The features on the LEGO model are incredibly authentic compared to the real vehicle. People always talk about the car as big LEGO, it's very modular, you can bolt things to it. When we were talking to the LEGO design team initially, they were really keen to explore that modular nature of the build. Hello, my name is Martin. I work for the LEGO Group and I'm a senior building instruction developer. In this LEGO set, you are able to build three different versions of the car. You can choose a model where you are having a normal hood on the car. You can choose a model where you have a raised hood and then the full off-road version with all the accessories. The Adventure version has both the front bumper with the winch, roll bars, you have uh, rock sliders. If you want to have the top rack where you can transport things, you can put that one on too. You have all the tools, a pickaxe, a shovel, a hammer and an axe. And most important, you have a fire extinguisher. So the accessories on the model are really authentic to what you can actually do with the vehicle in real life. So things like the winch, for example, as well as the functional toolkit, the roof rack, the roll cage, everything's on there for people to explore. My favorite part of this build is probably the accessories because it was actually a fun task to try to get them as close as possible to the real thing, but also a very nice collaboration with a lot of colleagues. In the development, we had a lot of collaboration on how to make the build as enjoyable as possible. How you were able to build as much of the vehicle before choosing which model you wanted, there are two engines. The first one is the V8, that's the one you built in the start. And the second one is a five-cylinder turbo diesel engine that you built further into the model. On the engines, I've tried to make it as detailed as possible. And on the V8 engine, I'm actually using eight sausages in black on the front, or on the top of it. And on the turbo diesel, I'm actually using a whip to illustrate the oil line. On the jerry cans, there is also two skates used as the cap function. The reason for having the toolbox is that you have the chance to fix the car on the go, out in the wild, to get that part of the story. Land Rover Defender sort of represents the whole idea of going everywhere on adventure and off-road.
It's one of the most capable off-road vehicles that's ever existed. From that first 1955 Overland Expedition, from London to Singapore, that technology to enable you to go off-road, that's existed all the way through to the modern car as we know it today. Ever since day one, it's been that focus on adventure, enabling people to go off-road and really get the best out of the car to go and explore. And all of those features are characterised by the model.